Hey guys, it's Melanie from MelanieKham.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, new crochet tutorial for you. We're going to be making this adorable drawstring bag. So this is uh, the rainbow color palette. This is more like a t-shirt style yarn. And here is a worsted weight kind of self-striping yarn. This is the one that I'm actually making in the video. As always, written instructions, free printable instructions uh, on my blog, which is first link down below. Let's jump right in and I'm going to show you how to make it. If you have never made the star stitch, I recommend doing a swatch of it first. This is more of an advanced beginner project and so I'm going to teach this as though you know the basics of crochet and you can crochet in the round and you are roughly familiar with this stitch. Of course I'll still go through all the steps, I'm just going to move through them pretty quickly so this video is not too long. So let's get started, we're going to begin with our bottom of our bag. Okay, so no matter what yarn you are using, you can pick the hook size that is recommended on the package. They're usually about a five millimeter, six millimeter in that range. And we are going to start with a magic ring. I have a whole video on that if you're not familiar with it. But if you've crocheted things in the round, hopefully you are. And like always, all of the written instructions um, are on my blog. We are going to start with 10 half double crochets inside of our magic circle with a total of 10 stitches. So a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all three. Half double crochet, we need a total of 10. Okay, we've got 10, so we can tighten up our magic ring. Join with a slip stitch to that first stitch. Now we're gonna chain one. And now we're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch going all of the way around. Slip stitch, chain one again. We need a total of 20 stitches. So not going in that stitch we are coming out of right here with the chain one. We're going two. And you can always just double check yourself that you didn't miss a stitch or anything at the end and make sure you have 20. And I will have that number for every single round. Right, so two half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, here's how it looks. We have 18. So in this last stitch, another two half double crochet. All right, slip stitch to that first stitch. chain one. Now we need to do two half double crochets and then one. And then two half double crochets and then one. And that will give us a total of 30. So here's our first two. Then we're going to do one. And then two again. Repeat that all the way around, make sure you've got 30. Our last stitch, so we have two and then one half double crochet, slip stitch, chain one. Now the next round, you'll notice a pattern here. We've got a few more rounds of this increasing. We're gonna do two double crochet and then one, two. Two in the same stitch, then one, two repeating two in the same stitch one two that will be a total of 40. so go ahead and pause the video all right so go ahead and do that all the way around so here's our last stitch slip stitch to that first stitch chain one now you might be able to guess we're going to do two half double crochets and then one two three two, one, two, three, that's gonna give us a total of 50. So go ahead and do that. 
Here we go, our last stitch. And your base will likely be a little bit wavy like this. That is good, that's what you want because we want it to be nice and dense and flat for us to have our bag. So different yarns will look a little bit different, but if yours is a little bit wavy like this, totally fine. Okay, so this is our last round of increasing. Chain one, then we're gonna do, just like we've been doing, two half double crochet. And this time it will be one, two, three, four, two half double crochet, four, two half double crochet, just like we've been doing in that same pattern. This time it will be a total of 66 zero stitches. We just finished. I made sure that there were 60 stitches. It's important to make sure we've got an even number in order for the star stitches to work. So make sure you didn't miss anything. Um, and I'm just slip stitching. Don't do the chain one because we're going to launch right into our star stitch. And I also want to point out this is the worsted weight. This is a bigger t-shirt yarn and this is a thinner like a size three or like a sport yarn. These are this is all the same pattern. So the sizing is different based on the yarn size. If you wanted a smaller bag, you would have a smaller base. And then as you go up, you just have less rows to make it proportional. So in order to do our star stitch, we chain two. And hopefully you're sort of familiar with this. If you did a little swatch or you followed along with my video when I first put it out, you insert your hook into that first chain, pull up a loop second chain, pull up a loop, and then into that first, so not into the one that we're coming out of, we're going to go into that first stitch, pull up a loop, and then the next one, pull up a loop. So now we've got five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, all of them and that last one is a little tricky with this first star okay chain one and that little chain one is the eye of our star so i'm going to refer to that later so insert our hook into that eye pull up a loop insert our hook into the previous stitch that we used up already so we're pulling up that loop so now we've got three loops and now we're going to go into our two new stitches. That's why this is a multiple of two. Five loops, yarn over, pull through all of them, chain one. Okay, one more time, insert our hook, pull up a loop, insert our hook into that last, that stitch we used already, but the one, the last one. Insert our hook, pull up a loop, and now in the next two. Five loops, pull all the way through, chain one. Okay, you can see the beginnings of our star stitch. So go ahead and finish that same thing Keep going all the way around, I'll meet you here. All right, I'm finishing up this first round. This is how it's looking. Now I finished this last star stitch. Let me put my hand back here so you can see it. Now there should be two stitches left. Here's the one that was used in the previous round, and then one, two. That's right, okay? So that is how it should be for yours as well. There should be two remaining. Also, I wanna point out the stitches are for starting to form the sides of our bag, but this is the right side. Okay, so this is gonna be important in just a second. This is the right side. So I want you to kind of flip the bag so that you don't get confused since it's flipping up. This is the right side of our stars and that's gonna be important in just a second. But let's go ahead and finish our last star. Okay, five loops, chain one. Okay, now we're going to join with the other side. So we're gonna find that first stitch, 
and slip stitch. So we're going to chain two. And then we're going to flip our work because in order to complete, if you did your swatch, in order to complete the top part of our stitch, we need to work back the other direction. And we're putting two half double crochets in the eye of that star. Okay, so we did chain two. Then we're going to do, see that in the eye of the star right here, these little chain ones. Okay, and if you need to look at the back side to double check that, and that's what we're going to need to do to finish out this first round of stars. So two half double crochets. And then go right over to the next eye and two half double crochets. So then when you look at it from this side, you can see those stars. All right, so go ahead and finish doing this round. And then there's one more little stitch here, so we're gonna go ahead and put a half double crochet in there because otherwise it's gonna leave like a little bit of a gap, okay? Okay, so remember, this is the back side, right? You can tell it's kind of like the back side. It's not quite as pretty of the side. So when we slip stitch, then turn your work again. Okay, so remember, this is the front side. And when we're doing the star stitch with those five loops, that is from, you need to be doing that from the front side. Okay, it's really important. I screwed this up on one of my samples and I was looking at it, I'm like, what is wrong with that row? Oh, it's backwards. Okay, so really make sure when you're doing your row of five, the five loops, that first pass of the star stitch, you're doing it from the front side of your bag. Learn from my mistake. Okay, so from this side, we are gonna chain two, okay? And then begin that first star stitch again, okay? So that first stitch, pull, or that chain, pull up a loop, insert into the next chain and pull up a loop. Because we added that little half double crochet, we're actually gonna skip over that and um, go right into the one on top of the previous. So see here so we're just going to skip over it pull up a loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three chain one so that's going to stack those stars right on top of each other all right so we are going to then do our another first round of star stitches Right, so there's our eye, there's our previous round, and then our next two. Chain one. Okay, so go ahead and finish that first round of our star stitches again, and then I'll show you when I get back here again. Finishing up this next round, and just like the last time, we need to have, so this one's being used, one, two stitches left. Okay, so that's how it should look at the end of the round. All right, five loops, yarn over, pull through, chain one. Find that top stitch and slip stitch. Okay, then we're gonna chain two. And remember, we're gonna turn to the back side and we're gonna do two double crochets in the eye of that star going all the way around. So there's one and two. Here's our last eye here, so we need two and then remember this is where we're putting that half double crochet just to kind of close that up but then we need to skip it if you're going to change your color i had i changed my color on this sample every two rounds of stars um, so that's four rounds total because each star is made up of two rounds right so two rows of stars so that would be now so what you would do is you would insert your hook 
grab your new color and pull that through. But remember, you are looking at the wrong side right now, so you're gonna need to turn your work, chain two. Okay, so that's the only extra consideration that you need to make if you're gonna change your color. Otherwise, you'll just do that like normal. I'm not gonna change my color for this one because I'm using like the self-striping, so I wanna show you guys how that's gonna look. So just like we did before, slip stitch to the top of that first stitch, not the turning chain. Okay, we're going into the top of the first stitch. Slip stitch, turn our work, chain two. And then we'll start again. So let me just show you that real quick. We're skipping this first one. I'm going right into the top of that previous star. And there's lots of different ways you can do this join. If you have a, a way that looks a little bit different or works a little bit better for you, that's fine too but I've done a couple of different versions and this was the way I thought looked the best in the, in the end and was the easiest to teach. Chain one, continue on like we've been doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rounds of stars. That would be 18 rounds total, but that's nine stars. And then I will meet you there to do our round for our drawstring. So go ahead and pause the video or check out the written instructions and I'll meet you up here. Now we're gonna do a double crochet round. So all that is, is one double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. And that is how we're going to thread the drawstring is with that double crochet. Once we do that double crochet round, then it's just gonna be two more rounds of stars, so then an additional four rounds, and then we are done with the bag. So we're in the home stretch. After that, we'll do the ties. So all it is for the double crochet round is chain two, and then we're gonna double crochet. Don't start in this stitch that we just came out of, in the next stitch over. We'll do one double crochet in each stitch. All the way around. Okay, so go ahead and do that. We will join it. And then again, we'll do our chain two and continue with our last few star stitches. Now remember, we're still gonna skip this first stitch because we want to have those stars stacked right on top of each other. We're gonna skip that first double crochet. All right, finish up those last two star rounds and then I'll meet you there and show you how to do the tie. All right, we are done with the body of our bag. Look at how cute that is. Okay, so I'm gonna just slip stitch it closed. Okay, and we can cut our yarn. Leave yourself, you know, five or six inches so that you can weave it in. So yarn over and pull that through. So we can weave that in later. You could do that with a yarn needle and just Put it on the inside of the bag and weave it back and forth until you feel it's secure. So now we need to do our tie. If you want to use something like this is macrame rope and I have it threaded through on both sides. Okay, so that you can make it kind of like a drawstring kind of bag. This one just has the one and this is made with a crochet tie. So you could use ribbon, you could crochet a tie. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So start with a slip knot. And depending on whatever size you made, you're gonna chain large enough to go around two times. We're gonna keep with our half double crochet theme. So we're gonna make our tie half double crochet. You're going to skip one of these foundation chains. So we'll yarn over, insert our yarn into the second, or insert our hook, rather, into that second chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over all three, pull through all three. 
And then we're gonna do one stitch in each chain all the way down. Okay, so that's how you're going to make your tie. Here's kind of how it looks. So if you only wanna use one tie, then you're gonna just go over under two of those double crochets like here and then come out, you know, you could leave some space here and then that will make it so that you can tighten it tight in a bow. If you would like for it to be drawstring style like this, you'll take your cord or your ribbon or your crochet and weave it over under same thing with two of those double crochets. You'll com come in on one side, go all the way around, come back out and use a yarn needle for this, it's really helpful. Um, but then when you need to do the other side, you'll do the same thing following the exact same path. So you can see that's where the two are. And then you'll go around, here's the other side. And then that will make it more of a drawstring style. I've got my ends tied here just so that it won't come apart no matter how far or wide you open it. So finish that up and then we've got this adorable bag. Mm -hmm.